Hey guys, what's up? Um, so we're gonna move on to another car here. We're gonna, uh, my car will still be in some videos, but we're gonna use mom's today. Mom's got a 2006 Nissan Altima. This is the dashboard, obviously a little bit more modern than the Accord. Um, go, this actually looks like a dashboard from the new Nissan Maxima. You know, the tachometer is designed the same. A lot of things are designed the same. So, yeah, this is a 2006 model. This isn't the new one, so it's still got the geared transmission. It's not the CVT, thank God. But we're just going to do an interior view. So starting with the dashboard, um, we're going to move, we're going to, obviously it's more modern. Same thing with the speedometer as my car. Um, it goes to 150 miles an hour. Um, check engine light is on, I am aware. Um, that's actually because of the fact that my, there was a catalytic inefficiency with the O2 sensors. Um, but somehow the O2 se sensors are, aren't smelling the gas. So I'm not exactly sure how that works, but we're definitely going to get that figured out. So yes, I am aware that the check engine light is on. It's, it's Nothing's wrong with the car. Um, probably just have to put a new monolithic converter in there, but uh, nothing, is, nothing is wrong with it. We, there was just a hole in it because uh, we actually thought it was a cat, needed to save money, and there was a little bit of... So we put a little hole in it just to create um, better flow. So along the lines of that, we are going to move on to the actual interior quality. The interior quality, I would say, is actually decent. Um, this is where the car started to put in plastic. Um, the radio, yeah, there's a little hard, bit of hard plastic in the dashboard as well, but it's definitely not, a, it's definitely not uncomfortable. Like, it, this material right here is almost the same as my Accord. So it's definitely not uncomfortable. This right here is all soft to the touch. Um, the dashboard, the, where the airbag's located, it's soft to the touch. It's made of that kind of leathery material. Um, the seats are cloth. I don't know if you can see them, but they are cloth. Everything in this car is actually black, so it's kind of hard to see. But, um, yeah, these are cloth, so yes, if you spill stuff on it, it won't show as much, but it will still, there will still be, uh, it'll still be there. Moving on to the doors. The doors are made of, like, a carpet material, and the same thing as my Accord, kind of like the, the squishy leather sort of deal. But, um, definitely, it's not as cheaply made as some cars, and <clears throat> this car is actually well put together. Same thing with this, my pet peeve, if anybody remembers along this right here, this is actually stuck in here. It's not coming off. Um, I'm not sure if I said that in my other video. I thought it was coming off more than it was, but I mean, there's just like on the passenger door, it's coming off just a little bit, but not to the point of it being absolutely obnoxious. But um, yeah, this is just an interior view of the car. I love the door handles on this thing. Um, I like this better with the lock up here. I always like the lock next to the doorknob. That's just something that I've always liked. Like my lock right on my Accord is right here. If you, any, if you guys have seen the 2000 Honda Accord, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, the controls are almost the same as my Accord. Uh, both of these windows are automatic. Um, and uh, if any of you guys have an Altima, when you roll down the window, it'll go all the way down. But when you roll it back up and you hit the automatic button, the window will go up, however, Oh, it didn't do it this time. But a lot of the times what it'll do is it'll actually come back down. And that's just to prevent you from locking yourself out of the car. So the window actually stayed up for some apparent reason. I'm not exactly sure why, because usually it always comes down. So yeah, that's just uh, a cool feature that I like. And if I, and another thing too is if you hold the unlock button for a certain period of time, the windows will actually roll down by themselves. So moving on to the, moving from those specs, um, this right here, I like this chrome, and it's actually quite well put in there, but, I mean, you can tell it's obviously not like a metal chrome, it's like a plastic chrome, but I like the design of it, so I can't complain, but this is where, the, this is where some of the plastics come in. Look, I can probably take some of this off, um, but it's not to the point, like, to where you can just rip it off, I mean, you gotta have some, you gotta do some work, but... I mean, the car itself, it's not cheaply, cheaply built, which is, which is really good because a lot of newer cars, you can't find interior qualities that are really, that are decent. Um, I would say probably the main manufacturer of a decent interior right now, and I hate to say it, is Dodge. Dodge, I've seen their new interiors and I'm actually quite impressed. Um, Hyundai's as well. Uh, I will still get my aunt's car, do not worry, I will have that shortly, okay? So don't worry about that. 
Um, but one thing I do love about this car, and you're going to see a lot of sunglasses and everything in a minute because this is not my car, is how much storage is in here. Now, my grandfather's Camry has a little bit more storage. But there are so many places that you can put things. You I mean you have the eyeglass holder, obviously. I mean, all a lot of, all the cars have those. There's a uh, pack. There's a not a pack. There's a little drawer right here, bin. There's another one down here where we keep the keys and the, and more sunglasses, as you can see. Um, the glove box is decently sized. We love Subway, and we keep their napkins just in case people get boogers when we go on road trips. I'm pretty sure you guys needed to know that. Um, behind the seat, there's also storage. On the door frames, there's storage, just like in my Accord. Um, this right here. Okay, so I forgot to mention in my Honda Accord video. I am not a fan of having this carpeting over the plastic. The reason being is that my Accord is made of the plastic material. So, one time, I leaned over it, and... Um, the material actually cracked, but I can't get to it because the carpet's right here. So everybody sees the carpet, but overall though, this car is decently well made. I, and the back room, the back room is kind of tight for taller folks. So if you are above like about, I would say maybe six feet, you might want to ride shotgun, but it's definitely not uncomfortable. And I also like kind of almost the coupe styling of the back doors. The newer ones are pretty cool, but I've always been a fan of this back door. Um, I don't know why. I just think it fits better. But yeah, this is an interior view of the car. I have a lot of the lights on because the car is black. So, um, a lot of the things you won't see. But the, the steering's nice. I have a cover over mine. But, um, this, is, this works decently as well. The dash mat does not have any words on it this time. But I will tell you the name of this car. This car is named Kobe Vanny. After me, after my sister and me. I'm trying to use proper grammar here. But after my sister and me, this car is named. Um, my grand I'll tell you a story, actually. My grandfather had a 1980-something Toyota Corolla. I can't put on the date. But that car was always called Mufasa. If you, any of you guys know who I'm talking about, then you know what? You're pretty cool. Mufasa. Mufasa has been the name of that car since that car was bought. So the Lion King wasn't even out yet. So I give my grandfather props, because I loved the Lion King when I was little. Okay, so this is just an interior view of the car. I'm actually going to go on a test drive and do that in another video just right now. So, um, yeah, my iPhone only takes about 10 minutes of video, then it's just like, oh, bro, you can't put it on YouTube because it's too long. So, yeah, I'm going to do that right now. And thank you for watching the interior view. You guys have a great one.